If you're using a Tascam MixCast 4 and you have studio monitors connected to it, is there any way to mute the microphones from the playback while still passing through the sound pads, the sound effects, Bluetooth, phone, and computer playback? No, there is not. I tried desperately, but I could not find a way. This is something that Tascam would need to update in a future firmware where they allow you to create your own monitor output mix in the menu because as of firmware version 1.31 on the 12th of September 2023, there is not an option to do so. The remainder of this video does not include a solution, but if you care about seeing me demonstrating why a feature like this may be necessary, go ahead and watch, but if not, you are dismissed, as Curtis Judd would say. And just know that I sat here for 10 minutes while filming thinking, gosh, I thought I had it figured out, but I didn't. Just going through the menus, just thinking, is there some kind of hidden feature that I missed? I didn't. I cannot find any solution to this. Sorry. If you're using a Tascam MixCast 4 and you have a set of studio monitors connected to it, is there any way to eliminate the microphone from the studio monitor mix and only hear the USB phone, Bluetooth, and sound effects? We're going to be exploring that today. And as of the 12th of September, I am on firmware version 1.310156. I currently have a studio monitor connected to the MixCast 4, but my monitor output is all the way down. Let me go ahead and bring this up. You should be able to hear this speaker making its way back into the side of the microphone. And here is the big issue if you have a studio monitor and a microphone in the same space. That's not good. So let's dive into some menus and see if there are any options that can save us. The first option is our input section. This doesn't give us any kind of solution, so let's go to the next one. This is our playback. Again, this is not going to give us any kind of solutions here. Next, we have our sound pads. This again, does not give us any kind of solutions. Then we have our device or hardware settings. If we go into advanced, maybe there, no, decibel meter. So we will dive into audio. The only thing here that looks like it may help us is feedback prevention, and that will mute the studio monitors if there is any kind of open mic. So let's go ahead and tap that. Now let's go ahead and jump back to the home screen and let's do some tests. First thing I want to point out is in the upper right hand corner, when you see the speaker with the X next to it, that means that the feedback prevention feature is engaged. And when that is engaged, the studio monitors will be muted to ensure you don't have any feedback. So currently the microphone channel is live, fader up, not muted, nothing is soloed, and I can hear nothing out. Oh, let me go ahead and increase the monitors. Still hear nothing out of the monitors. Perhaps it is just muting the microphone channel. So let's see if we hit a sound pad, if that will play through the studio monitors. Nope. The studio monitors are muted when feedback prevention is on. That makes sense. They don't want any feedback. So this is not a solution to the problem. Well, I am extremely disappointed because I thought I had a solution, but I do not. The solution I thought I had was solo the tracks that you want to hear in the studio monitor playback, and you can avoid having the microphone's feedback while steer, still hearing playback of the actual sound pads. That's coming through the studio monitors. The issue with this, the solo buttons or the studio monitor output does not mimic what the headphone mix is. The studio monitor playback seems to just be a post fader mix. So you can't really mute anything going to the actual studio monitors unless you mute. I shouldn't mute the microphone that I'm talking into unless you actually mute it or unless you have the fader all the way down. And when you do that, that also is going to mute that sound source on the recording and mute the sound source on the USB. So it kind of makes the entire purpose moot. Perhaps Tascam can roll that out in the next firmware update where they allow the monitor outputs to mimic the headphone port so this solo button workaround could work. Or even better, 
if they could roll out some kind of standalone monitor mix in the menu. So you could select what sound sources are sent to the monitors. So in case you want to have the monitors playing in the same room as your microphone, you can have those going and you should be good to go. Why can I not hear myself? Okay, I am coming back through the studio monitor. It's just very quiet. (laughs) I was thinking, did I just somehow come across a solution? No, I didn't. Okay, that is it. There, The answer is no. There you go. I just thought I would put this out because I filmed it. Maybe somebody will find it helpful. Maybe this will motivate Tascam to release a firmware update, giving us the ability to create a separate standalone monitor mix where we can determine what sound sources and what level those sound sources are that go to the monitor output. And heck, why not the line output as well? Okay, bye.